and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Craig and this is my wife Tabby. And in our last video, we showed you around Tabby's hometown of Beaufort, South Carolina. And today we're in St. Augustine and we're gonna show you around. After about a quick 15 minute walk, we made it to Castillo de San Marcos. And if you can't tell, it's a little windy. Got 20 mile an hour winds. Sorry for the interference with the mic. Forgive us. Castillo de San Marcos was constructed in 1672 to protect the city of St. Augustine. It is the oldest masonry fort in the United States and is the only one still standing from the 17th century. Although the fort has changed hands several times, it was never taken by force. Well, after a short 10 minute drive, we made it to the St. Augustine Alligator Farm. Alligators are huge. I think these are actually the largest gators I've actually seen in real life. Look at the size of this thing. You know, I've heard of like a really bad office, but this has probably got to be one of the worst ones I've ever seen. <laughs> No thanks. It's huge. Oh, he's over there feeding one right now. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh. <clears throat> you thought you were about to witness somebody getting mauled? Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> So you can't see it right now, but this is almost better off just to get Tabby's reaction right now. But there's a guy in there basically feeding the alligator and pushing it away with the stick. It is, it's intimidating and crazy watching the way he just handled it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, that thing started moving so fast towards him and he told him to stop and then... He, he literally put out like a little stick and just like touched it on his nose and it stopped right in its place. I I'm, would be terrified. There's, I'm terrified and I'm on this side. There's no way. So one of the nice things about the alligator farm is that it is a conservatorship. So they do partner with other agencies to return some of the alligators back to the wild. We were just reading about the Chinese alligator. There are less there in the very endangered species list and there are less than 100 left in the wild in China. They have been successful here at the alligator farm in St. Augustine in actually breeding and being able to return some of those alligators back to the wild. They fitted them with radio transmitters so they can actually see that they're starting to populate the area. So it's really Zoos are both a love and passion because I love animals and kind of sad at times, but this one, I love seeing, I'm talking too long and Craig's gonna edit all this out, so <laughs> yay. Not at all. <laughs> The most wild and exotic animal in all of Florida. 
It is the rare southern Tabithas. Oh <laughs> and the thing is, is that they always seem nice and docile in nature and very loving and inviting, but there's an aggressive side that you have to be careful for because in a moment, they can be man-eating. I wish you all good luck. Yeah, you're getting very close <laughs> to the moment. <laughs> Never fail, still have kids, still got to take care of kids stuff, even when we're trying to go out. Out filming a video and dealing with prom stuff. stuff. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, one minute. There's definitely a lot more to see and do here than what I ever expected. So this is definitely a good find. Go on Tabby's recommendation and I definitely recommend it as well. You hungry? I'm absolutely starving. Now we're gonna head over to a little brunch place that Tabby found out about. It's called the Ancient City Brunch Bar. I can't wait to go. I'm really excited to show everybody. She's excited to show everybody. I'm just excited to eat. I'm starving. So, <laughs> on to the next place. Yep. Is a really pretty place and so I can't wait to go to this brunch place. I'm so excited. On to get food. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. you so much. <laughs> We picked the Ancient City Brunch Bar today because of an article that I had read online um, about the two girls who started it. They started it as a school project, but then built it into a wonderful catering business and then got the funding from their mom to build it into the beautiful place that you see here today. What's it dreaming of? I wonder. I'm so excited, it looks amazing, absolutely amazing. All right, so this is definitely a first for me, so this is kind of weird. So you literally eat the food right off of the board that they bring it out, so Tabby's already enjoying it, and I'm getting ready to take my first bite. Oh, I missed you, Tabby. It's still so weird not having an individual plate. <laughs> like, I'm like lost on where to start. I feel weird like just moving stuff around, and I'm spilling. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to ask for more napkins. I guess that'll be like a entire. This is a first. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah, that's. You gotta try some of that. How come the trees get sun dried when it's cold? If you've watched our past videos, this is our first time that we've actually taken you to a restaurant with us. Um, it's so worth it though. It, it really is. If you get a chance and you're here in St. Augustine, you have to stop by the Ancient City Brunch Bar. Now we're going to head over to the Colonial area? Colonial Quarter Historic District. Okay, let's go over there. Yeah, it makes me wonder. I can honestly say I didn't know what I was expecting. I have not been to St. Augustine in probably 30 years, and I did not expect it to be this busy, but it is. 
This smells really, really good. I just wonder. It really makes me wonder. All right, so we had to do a quick little pit stop. As you guys can see, ice cream was definitely on the menu, so we had to do it. Yeah, not that we needed any more food, but it was too irresistible.